when you gave him a D, you know what your boy gave him, an L yeah. for yeah. failure. That was a failure in coaching that we just witnessed. And we're back. It's your boy Lavernius Coles and Wayne Cabrera. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing all right, man. You know, actually, every time we start the show, I'm serious. And as soon as you start talking, I smile. Uh, <laughs> doing all right. You're better than the. The team right now, uh, you know, I haven't had a lot of time to digest it. You know, we're doing the show pretty much right after, but uh, some unexpected, some expected stuff. We knew the uh, the offense would struggle, um, especially with that defense. And, you know, we'll get into Micah Parsons. Uh, you know, he's probably the closest thing to Lawrence Taylor I've seen since I grew up watching the football in, in New York. Uh, but the defense, um, you know, I think we're both surprised. You know, they got pushed around a little bit today. Uh, they were able to hold, uh, you know, to five field goals, but uh, they couldn't get off the field. Uh, and the Jets' uh, offense couldn't stay on the field. So what do you think right now? So I'm shockingly surprised to say that Zach Wilson wasn't the problem today. We've yeah. always had it out for him. And it's been one of those things where people have criticized him. Uh, some of it deservingly, some of it undeservingly. But the majority of the responsibility I've always attested to going back to this offensive line. It has been an issue, an issue, and still is an issue. The guy was being pressured, what, more than, what, 40% of his dropbacks, which is ridiculous. Yeah. That's almost half. And a lot of his dropbacks was three to five, three to five step drops, which is quick. He was getting hit on screens, and guys were supposed to have been blocking on the opposite side of where the, the screen was being uh, ran on. So you, a lot of the problem is going to go to some other stuff we're going to talk about later on down the road, but initially yeah. it comes from up front. Just give me your take on what you, how you thought Zach did. Yeah, I didn't think he'd do bad. I mean, watching it, listen, those two picks at the end, um, not saying the game was out of hand. Uh, he was trying to make plays uh, at that point, but, um, you know, he, I'm a believer, obviously, that the, the, the offense line is bad. You know, you you started it early in, in training camp saying this is going to be a problem, and I try to, like, Say it wasn't, you know, I was trying to believe, but uh, even just watching with my wife, you know, I'm like, look at this uh, number 11, Micah Parsons, how quick he gets in there. Not only was he getting around, he was coming back around and uh, getting a sack. And, and listen, he only had a couple sacks, and, but the pressures and, I mean, Zach knew where he was all the time. Uh, and it, you can't play like that. You can't play on your heels or running for your life. So I don't blame Zach. Uh, that's, it's mostly on the offensive line. Uh, but, you know, great effort by uh, the Dallas uh, front seven for sure. Yeah, well, and, and again, I hope this doesn't put take have Zach take a step backwards because he looks a lot better than he looked out there previously. Yeah. And what you don't want to happen is a guy's progression to go to digress because the people have let him down upstairs and not getting the people in front of these guys to protect them and block. Because if you put me back there and I'm getting smacked by number 11, the yeah. whole thing, my eyes are gonna come from downfield and start looking to find where he at too. Because this is ridiculous what we're watching, and I hate that people now are starting to talk about finding somebody else to to go at quarterback. I don't care who you put back there unless you go grab a gazelle or a cheetah or something to throw back there to, to escape these pressures that's coming. Up. It's not going to work. So let's get this out of the air now, brother. Because I don't, yeah. and I've said this before. Unless you're going to put a tank back there and uh, to absorb this pressure and this heat that these quarterbacks are taking back there, it's going to be a long season. And this upcoming yeah. game is going to be the probably the, the best odds to win a game they'll have for the next four weeks with, yeah. with what's coming to MetLife. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, you know, I, I've gone back and forth on Zach uh, different times last year. Um, and has he learned from Aaron Rodgers? Yeah, you put Aaron back there. It didn't didn't matter today. But, you know, we I think we see it differently. Like he was getting out of there, but he wasn't it wasn't like happy feet. He wasn't it wasn't a panic when he rolled out. Like he you know, he had some composure and stuff like that. Uh, and he did what he can do. That was a great you know, that throw to Garrett was great. You know, he put it right through there. A little earlier, a little later, uh doesn't work, but the running game didn't help much. So he's kind of out there by himself. Uh, I feel bad for him. You know, he, he led the team to what he could do. But uh, 
what do you hear him? You know, Sal has said uh, it's his job for the rest of the year. Uh, what are your thoughts on the men who they're mentioning to come in? Would they be a starter or backing them up? Uh, what are you hearing? Honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. You know me, Mr. Negativity himself. Call me what you want. Yeah. I, again, do not care who you bring in to play quarterback. Yeah. If you want to make me smile, you want this old grumpy old man to smile, bring me in some offensive linemen. I need them here Monday morning working out, Tuesday morning, or trading for somebody of some significance that can come in and bolster this offensive line because what we have right now isn't working. It didn't work, ain't going to work. I don't care how you want me to say it and how negative I need to be. It's not working. And coaches, you need to be bundled up too because I just watched this game and they didn't decide to even try and help on Michael Parsons until the game was pretty much out of control. You were down by 20. Tell me how much sense that made. I knew we was playing Michael Parsons last week and we was going to be in Dallas. And I said he was going, the line was going to need some help. You don't get no help until this man done been smacked around a couple times. Come on, bro. Help me out. Help me out. Tell, tell me I'm being, <laughs> being super negative again and just calling it what it is. Listen. I feel I feel like I got my grumpy pants on too, man. <laughs> like you know, uh, you know, producers saying, "Hey, tell us a story about your rookie year, that funny story." Talk about uh, this is not funny, man. This is this is not fun to watch. I was I was fearful, but look, yeah, at the end of the game, they got uh, Dalvin Cook chipping on Michael, and then they just moved him to the other side or moved him over the uh, the, uh, the center. So uh, yeah, that's we game. are one hundred percent in agreement, dude. That's game you, plan, and and like I said, I told you last week, man. Michael Parsons is coming this week. We got to figure it out. And I said, I don't yeah. care who's staying back there. If it was Aaron back there, we would better be glad it was Zach because he was running. Aaron can't run like Zach can. So it would probably been worse had Aaron been back there. And the ball can't come out quick. you seen the man on two and three steps drop, pumping the ball because there's just too many bodies around me. Yeah. He can't even throw it in the ground. This is sad to watch. Like I said, I'm just happy. We got the Patriots coming because they about as boo-boo as we are right now. So we'll just be boo-boo on boo-boo this week up front. So let's just make call it what it is. Yeah, I think I um, a D-plus because Zach didn't do as bad as everybody thought he was going to do. So y'all must have got y'all phones out and went and hit like because he, he looked pretty <laughs> impressed about there in the first couple quarters. Like, and he looked like he held his composure. So thank you guys for going to like with Zach doing and build his confidence. Now we're going to let this offensive staff Go put this man in the ice tub and have him second guessing what, should he be out there or not. <laughs> yeah, he's a different uh, career decision. Um, <laughs> l- listen, can can let's, it's a question. I didn't think about it till now. If he plays, can play like that a little better, eliminate the mistakes at the end, um, and the defense plays like I know they can. I mean, they have a tough you know first half of the schedule. I think they could they could win with that combination. You know, he's playing within himself, but. We didn't look at the um, you know too much of the, the you know the Patriots yet, but obviously you got Belichick and what he does to young quarterbacks. Uh, what are I don't what do they have on their defense as far as up front uh, and in the secondary? What are we looking at? Uh, anything we can expose or take advantage of? This defense that's that against New England is going to be as impressive as the one they just faced. It's but scheme based, it, right? It's the scheme. Yeah, yeah, but he will scheme up a court young quarterback, get him confused. And then you got to think this man just came from dodging bullets all day to day out there against Dallas. And you don't think he gonna be a little gun shy with Belichick firing bullets out. Belichick know what we know. That yeah. offensive line has holes in it and he's going to expose them. He's going to get the best matchups defensively, which Belichick is good at doing. Hopefully the coaching staff knows this and find ways to give Zach more time. And then our best receiver ended up going in the locker room towards the end of the game. So we may not, we don't know his availability for next yeah. week. So that is another crippler for your number one guy, an explosive guy not to be available. Because if we don't get that one explosive play, again, this ain't a, even, even a game the first three quarters. I'm just being honest. It's not even nowhere near watchable. Most people cut the TVs off probably the middle of the third quarter or towards the end. I watched it because I knew we were going to have to talk about it. So it just it was what it was. I'm telling you, Mr. Grumpy Pants is in the building today. Say what you want to say about me, but I'm telling you the truth. So I gave the defense 
a C minus. You know why? Because they supposed to set the tempo for our team, and they allowed Dallas to come out on the first drive and go down the field and score a touch. That was the mood setter right there for the for how this game was gonna look. And the defense just wasn't themselves. I, I don't even I don't even want to talk about the statistics on how long they was out there and how many plays they played because that has a lot to do with the offense going three and out. And then a lot of times our defense just not being able to get off the field. Yeah, I, I you know, I got it right here. 42 minutes for Dallas, 18 for us. And, and you know, I, I'm the same way. C minus, you know, they, you know, it's sauce, you know, sauce, you know, could have had that pit, pick six. It would have been 14 to 10. Um, he's going to make that play. I'm not worried about the, the defense, but, you know, they were on the field so long, so many plays. I realized we were only on for 18 minutes. But they really couldn't get off the field, and yeah, they're tired and stuff. But that first drive is twelve plays, seventy-five yards. Um, and what I was surprised, I was on the way home from the soccer game, racing to get home, and I'm like, I right, just and I hear it before I get out of the car, uh, Dallas won the toss. They're uh, electing to receive, and I was shocked by that. I figured they want to get on Zach, you know, a three and out turnover, but they challenged our defense to, to start the game and. Uh, they really set the tempo, um, yes. which was surprising. So uh, glad we agree on that. We agree that they are going to be, by the end of the year, one of the top five defenses probably. Yes. Uh, and be the reason for some victories. But today they just uh, they got pushed around a little bit. Yeah. yeah they're, they're, they're offense, uh, Dallas offense looked really efficient. Their defense was great. They're, they're probably one of the top teams in the NFL right now. So if you had to look at that and say that's one of our measuring sticks, we didn't really look well, which I didn't anticipate us doing anyway. I said that, that our offensive line and our defense would have to give us some points to, for us to have a chance. And our offense would have to put up more than 10 points for us to have a chance. And I said they would probably have to put up, what, 22 points or something like that, I said. And our yeah. defense would have to give us a touchdown for us to have a chance at the game. And that's about what Dallas did. They put up 30. So I'm pretty yeah. much accurate when it comes to figuring out what it's going to take to beat other teams. But, again, it's just, just me being grumpy while I'm doing it. And then we have our special teams, which I gave a C because we, we made a field goal and we didn't screw things up there and it doesn't look like, you know, you know, we get any worse in that area. So they got didn't hurt us, play. didn't help us. Um, you, have, you know, I want to get into the coaching, obviously, but it's just, like you said, uncharacteristic of our defense. You know, we got them inside their five, you know, and uh, CD, tore, CD tore us up. But, you know, some people know that wasn't all on our, our outside guys. They put them in the slot a little bit, but. What do you have? Eleven for one fifty. I mean, uh, that's uh, that's not like DJ Reed and, and, and Sauce. So, uh, uh, like, I don't care who you put it on. He got the stats to show you can put it on Sauce. You can put it on. <laughs> hell, you can put it on. You can put it on Zach Wilson. You want to? Whoever you want to blame, the boy put up numbers. I I read the messages throughout the game, and all people were saying, "Was well, somebody covered him at?" Hey, it was what it was. You couldn't cover that boy with a blanket out there. Leave him alone. He <laughs> gave us the business like he was supposed to do, and the, his offensive line gave them time to make plays. They would chip blocking yeah. guys, and they shirted it up in the middle to give them a little bit more time to get the ball down the field, but they had time to work. Yeah, we That's call them uh, CD five chains. <laughs> little, little Griffin's like, he got, some, got like five <laughs> chains on him. Like, hey, do you wear that? You playing like that, you can wear whatever you want out there, man. You man he, like, he, probably, he probably had on a weighted vest on his pass, too, because he knew we couldn't do nothing with him. So he's just like, you know, I'm going to come out here and train for, so when I get ready to play against some real defenders coming up yeah. in the upcoming weeks. Because this yeah, is a prank for him. He had that thing on uh, on steps. I mean, he took like 12,000 steps during the game. <laughs> he was all over the place. Uh, get to coaching. Uh, I, you know, I'll start. Um, you know what I do. McCarthy, McCarthy, you know, he's back to calling the plays for Dallas. Uh, you know, the way he game plan and schemed against us, uh, you know, wasn't really much downfield, but I think they were 50-50 pass and run, uh, so we couldn't key on anything, uh, which is not normal for a team that's ahead like that. Yeah. But, um, yeah, they got out coached, uh, you know, I think the defense coordinator, but offense, offensively they didn't help Zach. Um, you know, Coach Sal, I don't know what he could have done different, but overall the coaching job wasn't uh, what it could have been. Mm, so what grade did you give Uh <laughs> You know, I, I hate to say, but, you know, the way they played on, on offense, you know, we gave them a D, 
plus, it's D minus, just to be nice, and uh, defense was a C. I mean, it was nothing great. So overall, C minus, D plus, <laughs> that's it. It's not, it's not great. And I usually don't say that. It's just not great. Yeah, well, you gave him a D. You know what your boy gave him, an L yeah. for uh, failure. That was a failure in coaching that we just witnessed. Again, you don't game not game plan for Michael Parsons until you you went in the halftime and could have came out and made adjustments. Yeah. But you waited until that game was out of hand to to try to have somebody chip. Come on, man. Come on. I'm sitting I'm sitting in the hotel watching this yeah. and realize the boy need help at tackle yeah. to, to block him. You can't block him. He's he's olaying the dude. He's whiffing yeah. the whole time. This 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 is this is an embarrassment on on this team, and it's not all the players' fault. They, the the coaching staff got to know our strengths and our weaknesses. If I could sit my old grumpy behind at home and stare at the TV and know the weaknesses, you in the building with these guys every yeah. day, yeah. you should know. You yeah. should know who needs help, and when they got guys lined up on them, hey, okay, guys, when he lines up over here, you need to make a check. Back needs to come over and chip on that side, regardless of what we got going, especially if it's a pass. Yeah, yeah. None of that happened. That's just yeah. horrible game planning, horrible coaching. We'll yeah. Call it, and until the coaching gets better, we're going to be sitting here being negative and I'm going to be grumpy again. <laughs> yeah. Because Belichick, if he don't do anything else, he is going to coach his team and he's going to put them in the best position to win a game. Regardless of who's the most talented out there on the field, he's going to get the, he's going to find ways to scheme his best matchup and put them in winning position. So yeah, get, I get agree. Your cap, get your thinking cap out this week, coach. I agree. He, uh, go ahead. Yeah, you got out coach. You got to out scheme this guy. Like, like the coaching, like I said, obviously offense is an F. Um, but you know, as far as defense, I mean, plays, but you can't. The effort, you know, the tackling was bad, you know, the penalties, you know. I know that was a bad, uh, you know, rough in the passer. Yeah, but, uh, they, it was the refs, and I don't know, not them. Them, boy, them zebras, yeah. like, changing stripes. I don't know what's going on over there. Maybe they because they was in Dallas. They may have just, uh, yeah. you know. I'm grasping. All right, LC. Time now to get with our friends at my bookie. Uh, and for the week ahead, playing the Patriots, we are staying away from our uh, offense. And looking for a bet for our defense. I know this past week uh, we lost on the Garrett Wilson over uh, yards because he had that 68-yard uh, touchdown, which is great. So this week we are fading the offense and looking for a bet on our defense. Uh, facing Belichick and Mac Jones. Let's put the over-under on two and a half touchdowns for Jones against our defense. What do you think, LC? I'm going to go under because our defense got manhandled a little bit this week, and I think they're going to come out a little bit upset and try to uh, take it to the Patriots. What about you? Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, I don't see him throwing for more than uh, two touchdowns, uh, and certainly I see a big uh, turnaround for our defense. So I think we're both in agreement uh, that the Jets are going to stop Mac Jones under two and a half touchdowns. Let's go. This season. As my bookie is a no-strings-attached cash bonus that lets you deposit and withdraw quick. Use promo code 3013 on a deposit of $50 or more, and you can receive up to 200 in cash instantly in your my bookie account. Bet your deposit amount once, and you're ready to cash out at any time. Again, that's promo code 3013. Claim your cash deposit bonus. You can bet anything, anytime, anywhere with my bookie. Bill Belichick is does more with less than any coach I've ever seen. Yes, uh, you know on both sides of the ball, um, what he does. Um, you know, you know we've we've played against him, and it's just amazing. You know, I'm looking back at the old films because uh, I'm a loser, and I want to <laughs> remember the good old days and, and watch my highlight tapes, uh, which I do. Um, long story short, I'm watching an old uh, Patriot game, and you know how when a gunner lines up on punt to run down the side? Yeah. On a third down, Belichick has a safety, two, two safeties right in front of me like I'm a gunner running down on punt. He told me before the game he not beat me on third down. He put two guys on me that just put the clamps on me. So he threw some unorthodox, crazy 
stuff that people wouldn't even think about. Yeah. So um, we got our hands full. We got our hands full. Um, but like you said, this is a winnable game. One of the only winnable games, you know, uh, that doesn't take a monstrous effort like, uh, you know, versus the Eagles and Chiefs coming up, you know. So, so you definitely need to game plan, but we need to put our guys in the best position to win this upcoming week. Make sure that they're fired up coming out of that tunnel. Thursday. Yeah. Say, is that a growl? You hear that? That's my dog. Oh. You hear that? <laughs> okay. Listen, this is where she goes to sleep. It's uh, and and if I'm in here with the light on, she yeah. does this, man. Like, oh, okay. Next, she's thought, mad about the Jets too. I, thought I had a question for you. I heard this week. house because I was in here talking noise, and they thought I had came over. <laughs> I was up here in New York. <laughs> she's grumpy too. Yeah, get out Everybody of here, man. Bad. Stop talking about this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is stupid. Stop. Um, yeah. Listen. <laughs> um, and I know you're afraid of dogs. Remember I had that puppy that yeah. barked and you jumped on the couch? Yeah, I don't bother animals. Is that why I say they must have thought I was at your crib and some fans. Like, you know, we're going to fix LC because we know he don't like animals. We're going to drop some off the LC house. We'll be okay. I'm not over there. I'm, not, I'm over somewhere duck dog. I ain't going to tell you where I'm at. But... <laughs> <laughs> it's I, it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun game coming up this week, and like I say, the excitement probably going to be in the building again because we know this is a winnable game. Yeah. Because on paper we have the more talented team, which would say a lot. If we, I truly think we should blow New England out, really, really should blow them out. If we don't, and they figure out a way to win, we have other issues. That, and I, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna go deep into it, but on paper. We are 10 times as talented across the board than New England is. And, and, and this shouldn't even be a close game. We shouldn't even be stressing this after halftime. We, we both should be kicking our feet up, talking about all the positives we're going to talk about next time we get on here. If that ain't the case, we, we, we on to something bigger. And, that's, and I'm going to leave it at that. We should have a great chance at, at a win and hopefully, um, you know, not have to um, be a perfect game, or like yeah. said on paper. If we play the way we can, you know, we're looking at uh, you know, you know, one and one, two and one, uh, two wins in the AFC East, and that puts us in a decent spot before it gets really hard again. Yeah, and that's about trading for a quarterback. What we should be talking about is doing is seeing which which quality offensive lineman out there that we could bring in that could help bolster this offensive line or either a really solid uh, tackle blocking tight end that we could bring in that, I mean, we know he probably won't catch passes, but we keep our, put our tight ends in and not send them out. They just better block. If we have a guy that's built like that, I think most of our guys are pretty much capable of, of running routes and getting open. But yeah. we, need, we need help up front um, to, to, to stop the bleeding and get Zach back on the right track to uh, giving us that – positive look we saw early in the game where I was like, man, he doesn't look bad. He yeah, looked yeah. confident. His feet look quiet. He's not panicking back there. He's moving around in the pocket, pushing the ball uh, down the field when he had opportunities. He had another opportunity to hit Garrett in the corner for a second touchdown, but the, his arm got hit. Garrett had mm-hmm. an amazing route and, and killed the defender, and his arm got hit in the ball and they're falling short. So, again, if we can get out our own way and allow this, this man to develop uh, with some protection, I think he can be a long-term fix if he can continue to progress like this. And if he's only done that, what's he, how long he's been up under Aaron Tudelich? What, about four, five months? <laughs> yeah, Just, listen yeah. to you. Yeah. Zach Truther, yeah. yeah. He's so, decisive. Yeah. He stepped That's, up and took off. So, so he that we see what they saw when they drafted him. Now, again, the picks at the end, He's pressing. He's trying to make something happen. The mistakes are going to come with that. But when the game was reachable, he did exactly what the Jets needed him to do. Stayed calm and made the plays. Didn't throw the ball in the harm's way too often. Gave guys a chance and looked really solid. So I think the fans should be very appreciative for that. Be thankful for that. Let's not look to replace him or bring somebody in because uh, he, he's he's doing what, what what you guys have asked of him. And no adjustments need to be made. Just bring in some line. That's it. Work Lots. them out. 
work them out and see who we got that can come in and help up front. If, if, if they feel something different, I would love to see y'all messages in the comments about what y'all think uh, quarterback-wise, which, I like, again, I don't think we should bring in a quarterback, but I want to hear what y'all think. If y'all think I'm right with the O-line or y'all think y'all are right with the quarterback, I would love to hear the feedback, and I would love to hear it soon, too. Yeah, um, you know what, though? Like you said about tight end, we have receiving tight ends with Conklin and Zuma, but you need, like, like remember Anthony Beck, how he was? Yeah. You know, it's like an extent, he's like a like a, a third tackle, or tackle. We had like yeah. Al Brady. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a That's what you need. You need yeah. that, that that he could catch one for three yards yeah. and be okay, but we're not looking for nobody to get down there. We're looking for somebody to stay in and help bolster that front. Because, again, we're proud of you, man. I'm I'm so happy to see you know uh, our positive energy coming your way and you producing uh, just a little bit. I mean, I'm not giving yeah. you too much credit. You produce just a little bit enough yeah. that I knew if 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 our defense had showed up and showed out like they did last week, we we'd have mm-hmm. been in there a lot better. So defense, you you know you let a, you let one sl- slip on us because I told you what we needed from you, but they they get it back going. I'm excited about you know this game coming up. And you tell me what you think. Do you think we should blow them out or should it be anything different? I mean, because I, 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 I say it's a blowout. <laughs> yeah, I, th- I think you should uh, come up north and, and hang out with me and uh, hopefully enjoy a victory, which I think, is, like he said, is definitely attainable. If Zach can, you know, continue to grow like he did today, you know, I was happy what I saw. Obviously, you know, the law stinks, you know, but we're one on one. There's a lot of teams that are one on one right now. So uh, to be in that position after Buffalo uh, and the game at Dallas, losing your quarterback, is not a bad place to be right now. Um, so we'll see, uh, and hopefully next uh, next week, uh, you know, we always laugh and smile, but hopefully uh, we're celebrating uh, a little bit more. So look forward to. Uh, Talking to you next week and hopefully seeing you uh, celebrating a victory. Love it. Love you, brother. See you soon, man.